Being able to communicate effectively with your teammates is arguably the most important aspect of being a pro. Sometimes though, the microphone can pick up something particularly special. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's angry, and sometimes it's just straight up weird. Let's listen in now then with the top 10 voice comm moments. Starting off at number 10, we have Caps locking in Vayne. Dylan, we have to go Vayne. No, we have to go Corky. No, no. all of, all of Galio, Elisai, we're going Vayne by the way. The stakes were high. It was the LEC Summer 2018 playoffs and Fnatic were one on one in their best of five with Misfits. Going into game three, Fnatic were discussing their next picks. Now you'd think they'd go for something safe, something tried and tested, not something like Vayne mid. We could see the Corky again. Yeah, good Corky again. Whoa! What? That's a Vayne mid lane! Into a Galio? The pick seemed insane. And thanks to these voice comms, we get to hear just how shocked everyone was, including Fnatic's coach. Like, where are we going, by the way? Are you serious? It's Trundle Vane. Shouldn't we yeah, just go Corky? But are you like... serious? Is it going to win us the game? Of course. At first, the pick seemed to be a failure. Fnatic fell behind, and Caps was getting clapped. But Fnatic were patient. They knew they just had to wait out for that late game vein to finally kick in. Oh, oh. With the three man knock up, Heroes Entrance comes in. Another three man catch! Caps! Kill Tan Summer! I'm here. We win, we win, we win, we win. Arch for me! Holy sh. Caps, I saw that. Holy that was really sick. Holy buggers! Next up at number nine, we have Alu asking the real questions. Are those red balls only for the commercials, or can you actually drink them? No, you, you can, can actually <laughs> you, you can drink them. <laughs> it's fine. Those words have become immortalized within the CSGO community, and that has become one of the most memorable moments from Katowice 2015. It didn't take long for Red Bull to get in on the action either when they referenced it on Twitter. The circle was completed in 2019 though, when Alu's new team, Ents, made a god-tier callback. <laughs> At number 8 now, we've got the sounds of Sentinels winning the first Valorant Major. Where? He was ceiling, ceiling. Be on our spawn. I didn't hit on, he's there. Nice. Nice series, Mike. Thank you, Let's go, baby. Safe you, KD. Tens only had a day to practice with Sentinels before Valorant Masters Stage 1, and going into the tournament, everyone wondered if he'd had enough time to click with his new team. But by the finals, there were no doubts anymore. Tens let his skills do the talking, and the comms speak for themselves. Nice one. We're out. Backside. 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 Both were there. Close. Backside. 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 I'm darting 10. We can play both. Nice. nice. You're just Get better. Hunter, Hunter, he's timing. These guys are trash! Hunter, he's timing me, I'm sorry. Okay. The comms were hype, but also showed that just because you're crushing in finals doesn't mean you can't have a little bit of fun. Alright, fun. This guy always bit him in. Oh, I accidentally dashed. <laughs> I just anyway, jumped up. He has to jump up, he has to jump up. Yep. Nice. Nice. Yo, this is insane. Yeah, man. Dude, that was insane. insane. I was fucking adjusting my grip and I fucking dashed. At our number seven spot, we have Fnatic cringing hard at Team Liquid. Unbelievable. Wait, so why are we in the lobby and they're not? That makes no sense. They get 20 minutes extra, they're from LA. Nice. <laughs> At Rift Rivals 2019, League fans got to watch Europe and North America's best teams face off for those sweet transatlantic bragging rights. Team Liquid rep North America hard by going full-blown Captain America. Not only were Fnatic not impressed with the display, they questioned if Team Liquid even counted as NA. I like how they have the North American shield when uh, three out of the five players on their team is not even American. Don't tell anyone. Why not? Because Team Liquid is the all-American team. They're the American, great hope of America. Nothing gets a bit too excited now for our number six spot. Take one, take one. I got a boner. Let's go. Once you wait till you pick the boner. Yeah, so let's give this some context, although I'm not even sure that will help. Cloud9 faced off against Fnatic at the ESL ESEA Pro League Season 1 Finals, and C9 were having a pretty bad round two. And Fnatic won't be buying it either. Ooh. JW does get a good kill, and Flusher almost getting caught at the angle there, but 
Still, Fnatic in control of this round. But despite the 2v3 situation, Shroud bit the bullet and clutched hard. On spawn, spawn. Thank you, Pumper. One more spawn. Spawn, spawn. Cap spawn. 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 Oh! 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 Oh my God. What the now you've seen the play, maybe you can see why nothing was so excited to see his teammate pop off like that. I got a boner. Let's go. Okay, maybe we can't explain it entirely. At the halfway point now, we have Clayster laying into his team in the Call of Duty League. We should have, yeah, we should have won the f***ing hardpoint. We should have won the surgery. We should have won the control. Oh. That was so stupid, man. The New York Subliners had just lost to 100 Thieves and Clayster went in on his team for what he felt like was some glaring mistakes. Little did he know that the CDL was actually going to broadcast these comms right before their next game. That was really bad, guys. Really, really, really bad. I don't know what the f I just watched. We should have, yeah, we should have won the f***ing hard point. We should have won the surgery. We should have won the control. Oh. That was so stupid, man. We're up 5-3 in the search and we can't close it out. Like, dude. Clayster showed his disapproval with the CDL for airing the comms during the next game, and he wasn't afraid to elaborate on why he did it. There was no comms, and then we're sitting here watching, and I saw that they unle un like released the comms with it too. And so it was basically just kind of a nice, you know, screw you before the match. I don't appreciate that. I'm going to be having a talk with the league. Uh, you know, if they're going to make us sit here and stuff like that, I think it's a little unprofessional to use the the comms in the video from that, um, especially right before we play our match. Screaming into number four now, we have the one and only Yankos. Go, okay. I got them. I got them. I got them. I got them. Yeah. 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 Western fans will always remember Worlds 2016 for H2K's insane run to the semi-finals. H2K, they beat AHQ, they beat EDG, these guys are red hot! To get there though, they had to get past EDG in a tense tiebreaker game. It all came down to a single dragon fight that would give League fans a celebration gift for years to come. Yeah. 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 Moving on to number three, we have a mysterious moan. At Valorant Challengers, 100 Thieves were looking to hold on to their lead versus TSM, but with Hiko in a 1v4 situation, he needed to pull off one of the clutches that made him a legend in the first place. And that's gonna force the swing. They wanna punish that res. It's just scary because wow. they had a lot. Hey, no Hazus way. is playing deathmatch right now. Beautiful work off of the Vandal. And when Hiko secured the win, there was cheering, there was clapping, and there was um, some mysterious moaning. Next up at number two, we have OG and LGD's comms at TI8. I mean, I don't even know what the f is going on. I haven't seen my <laughs> The hour long True Sight documentary that captured the comms behind TI8's grand final were golden. After an insane comeback in a series in which OG were down 2 to 1, we had Jerax giving Anna a heart attack by asking if he wanted to reload into the enemy base for shits and giggles with millions of dollars on the line. Oh no, you yeah, wanna reload into the base? No, no, no. Memes? Both. And then there was PSG LGD wondering where Seb's axe is just before he gives them a devastating answer. And of course, there was five friends sharing a quiet moment of victory before basking in international glory. And finally at number one, Canadian is asking, why the f is he so good? Why am I so much better than you? God damn! At the Six Invitational 2020, Space Station found themselves down a round to TSM, and the second round wasn't looking much better. 
Canadian was really going to have to pull it out of the bag if he wanted to stay in the game. And it's Canadian down below, isolated. He'll walk oh. right into Geo and he wins the fight, but he will have to find the diffuser. Bolo's on only a tiny bit of HP. Down goes Merc. Bolo's one shot away. Well, Canadian oh clutch! Oh my god! No way he pulls that off and the diffuser is his! That play was already hype as f by itself, but when the voice comms were released, we got to see just how good it felt for Canadian. Why am I so much better than you? God damn! You're so fing up and you, you little shit! Still get fing A! I'm all this shit with the worst gun in the game! You're playing Twitch, Geo! You're playing Twitch! All right, guys, which one of those was your favorite? Did we miss any good ones out? And what is the craziest thing that you've ever heard in voice comms? Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. And I'd imagine you gotta be pumped with that one. He'll start to defuse, and SSG manages to save the round. Almost unwinnable, I say. Well, he proves me wrong. Second round goes to SSG. I can hear, I can, I'm not kidding. I can hear him right now <laughs> through, through the walls. <laughs>